So let's take a look at what we've got right now. We have uh, Azure and we have to my right, this website. So this website, it's pretty basic. It's just a simple index.html. You can see just some very, very basic JavaScript. Uh, and eventually what this index will do was look at um, this uh, content slash blog directory. And these are all just markdown files. And these markdown files are eventually converted by a static site generator. And that static site generator eventually turns them all into these index files. Uh, and then they represent each individual page. So we can look here and we can see that the pages are actually written in Markdown, but uh, Hugo, which is just a Go uh, application, you can download it uh, on pretty much any platform. Uh, I did it right here on my, my Mac. Um, you, you go and you grab the Hugo package, you compile everything. Uh, you, I should say you uh, create the scaffolding, uh, you add a theme, uh, but we're not gonna talk about how to create a Hugo website. What we're gonna do is talk about what happens when you wanna use a really inexpensive place with low amounts of overhead to store this when it's done. So uh, I've gone ahead and you can see I've got this uh, repository. So I'm gonna show it to you in my browser. This is the uh, repository of the code that we're gonna work with today. And um, the reason why I like to do uh, things with this is, is that it's a simple uh, amount of code, uh, very, very uh, easy to work with. And literally it's just, it's a blog with information about my dog. Take it, customize it, do whatever you want with it. Uh, I'm gonna put a link to it in the chat. There you go. So uh, what are we going to do with this code? I am going to deploy it. So uh, to deploy it, what we're going to do is we, we could, we've could we got several options with Azure, but literally one of the most uh, inexpensive options right now uh, for something like this um, is, is blob storage. Uh, and you can turn that storage container into a static uh, web host. Uh, so the, the data that you upload to it, a blob. So we're going to be using this to host objects, essentially all of our objects in this public directory. Because if we look in that public directory, essentially that's everything for our index, uh, our individual sections, and then our blog posts. So really the thing that's great about VS Code is it makes the actual deployment process extremely simple. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over that. So we're not even gonna really need to use the dashboard. And mm -hmm. the reason we're not gonna need to use the dashboard is super, super simple. Um, VS Code has an extension to make this completely, completely simple. So um, what we're gonna do next is I'm gonna walk you through the process of uh, the VS Code extension. Um, we'll talk a little bit about that and then we'll solve the problem. We've got this website uh, and we want to host it. So I'm going to focus back here a little bit more on our screen. Okay. Uh, if you've got any questions, please, please send it. Uh, so VS Code um, has an extension in the extension section for Azure Storage. So we'll go ahead and we'll look at it. Azure Storage right here. So I've already installed it, but the process essentially would be for you to click install, um, refresh, and then go back to your repository. And once you've gone back to your repository, what you can do with these extensions is so right here, I've got the Azure, is we can go into our, uh, our subscription and uh, we can see what storage options are available to us. Right now, it's just basically looking for everything, uh, but we're gonna skip that portion. So once this extension's installed and you've authenticated, uh, what you're capable of doing is literally going here, clicking the right, uh, the right click uh, and, and going to deploy to static website. So what's that going to do for me? Well, we're gonna step through every single uh, portion of uh, this, this blob storage creation. 
We'll look at the actual uh, blob storage on the Azure side and then figure out what just happened. So the first thing I'm going to do, like I said, I've built my my uh, my static site with Hugo. Uh, it's basically rendered all these markdown files into the, the, the portions of, of this public directory that we're wanting to deploy. We go ahead, we right click, and we just go deploy to static website. So now I get the option to go to my subscription. This is uh, a subscription is where uh, all your drawn down payment uh, paying uh, resources come from. Um, this is a cost center, if you will, for everything. And the next thing is we need to have a storage account. Um, a storage account is essentially where all of our different storage requirements are kept. Um, so what gonna, we're going to do is create a new storage account. I'm going to do advanced. Uh, so I'm going to create a new globally unique uh, place for the storage account. It's just a name. And so that name I'm going to call the Rico Info Center. It's, it's the Rico Information Center. All right. So I'm going to focus a little bit more on the screen right now. Cool. So the Rico Info Center, right? Cool. We're going to take this website. You should be able to just right click here, deploy a static website. Looks like it's just still activating the extension. Like I said, when you do it, you do it live. Sometimes these things happen. Okay, so we'll select our subscription. It's gonna ask me to select a storage account or create a new one. So we're gonna create a new one. We're gonna give it a name. I'm just gonna call it the Rico Info. We'll hit enter. So now it's gonna create a resource group. It's gonna host it and if we look down right over here, I'm gonna make it a little bigger so you can see it. And if we go right over and you look in the lower right hand corner, it's gonna create the storage account, the Rico info in location West US with the SKU and that's a standard there. And what that means it's gonna use a standard skewed storage. Uh, we can actually enlarge this, get more. So SKU standard LRS. Um, so that's hot storage essentially, uh, something that we're gonna grab on demand. So right now, as you can see, the storage account has been enabled for static hosting. It's giving me the information that uh, we can have uh, an index document of index.html, and we also have a 404 document of index.html. So we've been given a place to host essentially like HTML websites. It's very, very simple. You don't need to really configure any of it yourself. So the deployment's complete. The primary web endpoint is right here. And it even shows me browse the website. So let's browse to it. And if we look right here in my browser, here's our URL, the Rico info. And this is a static web host. Um, we've got right here, everything's connected. We can see my, my posts all work. Everything's there. Super, super simple, wasn't it?